This is the continuation of the solar shed bill. If you're interested in seeing the beginning process of the solar shed bill, go to my channel, look for the solar shed playlist, and you'll be able to watch all available video starting from the footing, the framing, and much more. In this video, I will be installing the solar wire and solar panel on top of the solar shed. This is under the deck where the solar wire gonna go through this pipe and into the basement. Now I have to dig a trench 18 inches deep. That's gonna go this way where the shovel is. This is what it looks like after starting digging the trench under the deck. It's not very comfortable down here. My little brother came to the rescue again to help me dig the trench that will take it all the way to the back of the shed. The electrician told me that we are required to go 18 inches deep and I am going to install a 1 inch PVC conduit that will take the solar wire from the back shed all the way into the basement. This is what it looks like after installing the DC disconnect and the one inch conduit. The inspector told us we could cover everything except for two sections for the inspection. After using a vacuum to pull a string, I inspect it to make sure it made it far enough. Then I'm gonna go on the outside of this wall under the deck to pull a thicker wire that will allow me to pull all the 10 gauge DC wire and 6 gauge grounding wire, all of them stranded THWN. Then I pull a 12 gauge wire using the string that will allow me to pull two sets of PV wire 10 gauge and the grounding wire 6 gauge. This is what it looked like before I pulled it and I was able to pull everything through. Now I'm gonna push the remaining wire into the basement eventually we'll attach them to the final destination. The white wire will provide grounding for the solar panel and I will attach it to the main electrical panel grounding bus bar. I could have added a grounding bar right behind the shed for the solar panel grounding, but I was able to find 131 feet of wire, 6 gauge THWN for less than $30. From this junction box, the solar wire go to a second DC disconnect for maintenance and the grounding wire goes straight to the main panel. This is the first day of installing the solar panel and by the end of the first day, I was able to install seven solar panels that will represent PV1. All of them will be wired in series. Those are the bracket that I use. They are really simple and easy to mount. I will leave a link if you're interested in getting them. Before I put them down, I apply some silicone at the bottom, although they have the rubber at the bottom, I add the silicone as an extra layer of precaution. Each mini rail requires a grounding clip on top of them. This is what it looks like to make sure all the solar panels are grounding to each other. This is the solar panel specification, it's saying it's 395 watt. But with the bifacial gain, it should go up to 495 watt. In my case, the bifacial feature doesn't really matter because they are wolf mounted. I went with those solar panels because I got a good deal on them. I bought those solar panels from Signature Solar. They are discontinued because solar technology is always improving. But you can use my code. Talented Dad to get $50 off any order over $500. On the previous day, my second youngest brother came to help me setting up the first seven panel, then connect them in Siri. Today, my youngest brother and my dad came to help me finish it up to set up the final seven solar panel. 
I wish I was able to take the solar panel all the way to the edge of the roof, but code in my area require a minimum of 18 inches setback throughout the whole perimeter of the roof. This is two set of seven solar panels connected in series, making a total of 14 solar panels. I did use PV wire to take it down to the first DC disconnect. From there, I transitioned to a THWN wire. Then I added electrical warning on the conduit and PV disconnect. The wire go under the ground right here and all the way under the deck and take it into the basement. I added a second disconnect inside to make it easier just in case I have to do maintenance. This is how everything looks at the end. The system been up and running since late August and we haven't had any issue. Everything is working as they should be and if you want to see more video about the solar shed go to my youtube channel click on solar shed playlist you'll be able to watch all available video thank you very much for coming to my channel have a good one